today we are going to be looking at finding percentages of a number. So my question is find 27% of 600 and I'm going to use the bubble method today which is what I've been using with my class the last few weeks. So we always start off with a bubble in the top left hand corner and this bubble represents 100%, the whole number that you have. Now if you move down on the bubble method, you always divide by two. So this bubble is going to represent 50%. And the last bubble is going to represent 25% because I've gone from 50 and I've halved it to 25. Now it's really important to note that these values are just what the bubble represents. That's not your answer, okay? So if you go down, you divide by two or you halve. Now if you go to the right, you divide by 10 and you make it 10 times smaller. So I start off with 100%. I'm going to divide it by 10 to get this bubble. So this bubble represents 10% of the whole number. And I can go to the right once more. And this bubble represents 1% of that whole number. Because I started at 100%. I divided by 10 to get 10%. And I divided by 10 again to get 1%. And I've got one last bubble here. I wonder if you can guess what this one's going to be. So I can either go down from the 10% and halve it, or I can go right from the 50% and divide it by 10. You're right. This one is worth 5%. So now I can start by thinking which bubbles I need to help me find 27% of this number. So I could do 10%, uh, add 10%, add 5%, add 1% and add another 1%. That would make 27. Or the quick way, I'm going to do a 25% bubble. I'm going to add to that a 1% bubble. So that makes 26%. And I'm going to need one more of those to make 27% altogether. And I need to find out what is equivalent to 27%. That's going to be my answer. So let's start putting some numbers in these bubbles to help us. So the 100% is the number that you're given. It's the whole number, the whole amount that you have. So 600 is going to be in here. Now I need to get down to this 25% bubble. So I can halve it, which makes 300. And I can halve it again, which is 150. So 25% of 600 is 150. So I'm going to put that value next to the 25%. Now I need a 1% bubble. I need to know how much is 1% of 600. So again, I start at my 100%. I divide by 10. So it's going to be 60. And to get to the 1% bubble, I'm going to divide by 10 again. So that's going to be 6. So 1% of 600 is 6. And I've got two of those bubbles. And I'm going to add the values together to get my answer. So I'm going to start with my units first. 6 add 6 is 12. 5 add 1 is 6. And 1 add nothing is 1. So my answer, 27% of 600 is 162. 
There we go.